Good morning, John. Uh, good morning, Oliver. Today we're going to talk about the closure of Garda stations in County Mead. Can you yes. tell us about that? Uh, this has uh, been a, a, a problem in me, in Navan particularly, and in parts of County Mead also, uh, that, that there has been an upsurge in, in, in crime against property, against uh, uh, people in their homes, against businesses. And uh, part of the problem has been highlighted uh, by uh, the TD uh, based in Navan Paddock, Tobin. And he has uh, started uh, uh, a program for safer mead because um, it's in everybody's interest in mead uh, to have a safe uh, county and particularly a safe town. Navan is the county town where the council officers and all the rest of it is, and it's quite a big town. A big town. You could even say it's coming to be a city because uh, the population is, is upwards of 30,000, perhaps 40,000. Uh, so that's a, a significant population in Mead. And yet, uh, it's the most unpoliced county in the country with one policeman for every 660 people. Well, and of course, the national average is, a, is one and one to 447 people. Well, That's the national average, but in Westmead our neighbour, <coughs> uh, uh, it's, it's one for every 332 people. Uh, that's the figures. Now, um, I know people that have contacted the, the Gardaí in Navan and uh, mentioned uh, problems with uh, dr 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 drug uh, dealing and other and antisocial behaviour. And uh, they were told that uh, it would be a, uh, there was only one squad car, and and it'd be uh, the be out in due course. But in a lot of cases, they never came. Uh, this was highlighted at a meeting that it was at on Tuesday of this week, uh, Tuesday the the twenty eighth of of November two thousand and seventeen. You highlighted it, was it? Uh, no, but it was highlighted at a meeting it was at. It was a, a residence association. Uh, well, okay. involved in and uh, <coughs> it was it was mentioned at that uh, so uh, this some of it was news to me uh, that, uh, that, that that this problem was so prevalent in Navan and, and in other parts of the county as well so it behoves uh, the authorities uh, um, to address this problem and provide enough guardi uh, to um, deal with, the, with, with, with problems when people acquaint them with it. Uh, as a matter of fact, on that score, it has been suggested that when you do make a complaint to the Gardaí uh, that, uh, about a problem that, that, that you see or that is happening, and uh, maybe happening that it could be, uh, they could take steps to, to charge the people with these uh, problems, uh, so you can check to make sure that they uh, did you get a log number, because in some cases uh, they mightn't be taken down at all. So this is something that uh, has has uh, transpired uh, that when you do uh, make a complaint, uh, you ask for the log number. That means it has to be written down and some action has to be taken. So if John Malone could change things, how would John Malone change? What change would you bring about? Well, first of all, uh, when citizens uh, in, in the Mead area, in Navan and other towns, uh, ring up the Gardaí with a, a problem that is occurring, whether it's antisocial behaviour or some other more serious problem, uh, that it's dealt with promptly and effectively, and that the people that are indulging in, 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 the, in these uh, uh, crimes uh, are, are dealt with and, and perhaps charged. We, 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 we don't seem to see any evidence of, of much of that. Uh, the Gardaí seem to be permanently uh, engaged in looking after the serious criminals that, that are in the state and that appear to be able to be above the law, that they're not uh, taken out uh, of society uh, so, as, so as it's a safe society. 
Uh, also, with John Malone and the Christian and Jobs Action Party, would like to see more Gardaí uh, at a 75 in Navan, but it's very rare to see uh, Gardaí on a permanent basis and patrolling the street. Uh, so as to kind of get the community, to, to reassure the community and to sort of know what's going on. Because if I'm driving all the time in squad cars or any car, how am I going to get to know the people? Yeah, they seem well, to... Certainly, that would be one issue, and I believe uh, the Fianna Fáil Justice Spokesman has highlighted that issue also, but it has been highlighted down the years, and nothing seems to be done about it. I have noticed in Dublin City, you do see a lot of Gardaí... <coughs> sorry. A lot of Gardaí in their cars, and they appear to be on their smartphones. Well, you see, you're not going to... What's the use of being in cars? As a matter of fact, for my part, at our demersion was a guard. Uh, th th there was none of this business of squad cars, and as a matter of fact, they got a squad car in the station in County Roscommon, where, where we lived, and it was considered uh, uh, inappropriate, and the guard that was the least useful in dealing with, 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 with any crime that was occurring, he got the job and he spent his time polishing the car because there wasn't that much need. Gardy walked to wherever the problem was, uh, and maybe got on their bicycle, but uh, that was then. Uh, but uh, funny enough, it seems to be that if a guardy can't come, unless they're coming in a squad car, and that seems inappropriate in Nav, and they should be able to walk if there's, if, if if it's not that far. The um, but but clearly there's there's a problem with numbers, John. So it has to stop. It start at the top level. The government have to introduce more guardy, obviously, Correct. and bring more guardy to. But bring the region. more Gardaí, but, uh, but uh, they, they, they pay lip service to it, but uh, uh, there's no evidence of, of uh, um, Gardaí on, on the beat, as it used to be called, whereby they're about the, the, the streets. And it's not much good in having community Gardaí uh, going around and, and being, doing a PR exercise. You want Gardaí to um, implement the law and deal with, with issues as they arise without going past it and pretending they don't see it. So, if the Gardaí are in their police cars and they're not on the street, where are they? Well, this is it, where are they? Uh, we did hear uh, that there was a lot of, um, um, over a million, a million and a half, maybe more, of, of breathalyzer tests that never took place. Uh, they were um, done in stations or other places to sort of give the impression that they were um, out and, and about uh, dealing with, with drunk driving or that type of thing, or people with drugs driving cars. Uh, so, I mean, that, that's not too good. Uh, that's not great behaviour. Uh, that seems wrong. That is wrong. And um, so it would be far better for them to be out in the street and uh, spend less time doing paperwork or whatever it is uh, that they're not out in the street. They're mm -hmm. not putting driving around in squad cars, two of them, and one is supposed to be the lookout. Uh, you're not going to meet people, you're not going to know people. As a matter of fact, most of us don't know a guard name now at all, citizens and people in the, in the, in the, in the community, uh, even people in business, they don't know the name of any policeman because they never kind of encountered them. Okay, we're going to talk about the, the reopening of Navan train station. Well, this is a thing that John Malone and the <coughs> and Jobs Action Party uh, have spoken about, I think, before. But um, when uh, Mr. Dem Noel Dempsey, uh, Fianna Fáil Minister for Transport in the previous Fianna Fáil government before 2011, uh, he uh, is a Mead, uh, he was uh, from Trim, and he was a Mead. A Mead uh, TD and Minister, and he instigated a lot of uh, the work necessary for to reopen the train service from Dublin to Navan and stopping at various stations in between. Now, there is a suburban train service to Dunboyne in County Mead, which is, uh, should be extended to Navan, considering that the work was done, and there's a, a demand for it, and it would ease the traffic on the um, uh, on the roads going up to Dublin from half five in the morning, there's practically traffic jams from going from from uh, Navan and from towns further in uh, from from um, uh, we'd say um, Kingscourt uh, in County Cavan and places like that coming through, and they would benefit. Uh, they might indeed 
park their vehicles in Avon and take the train and would ease the traffic on the road. You were, you were saying to me earlier on that it's more cost effective to actually um, have a train service than to build a motorway, build another motorway well, or, or even the M3. For example, uh, a figure that's uh, <coughs> that uh, when we're checking out in this situation, the motorway costs 690 million. And of course, you have to pay tolls. There's two, there's two toll boots from, um, from, from to, to Dublin. That's the, you're talking about the M3 now. You're talking about uh, the M3. Yeah, there's two tolls. Which is privately owned. Yeah, uh, whereas uh, the train service wouldn't have any of these tolls, and uh, it would be very well supported because, as I've already indicated, the population in Mead uh, or in Navan uh, is, is 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 over thirty thousand and perhaps forty thousand. Um, um, citizens there, uh, so you don't get it from the people that's coming through Navan or bypassing Navan and going on the motorway. So it would benefit productivity. They're doing it in Britain at the moment, where Lord Beeching had uh, closed a lot of the railway stations in Britain, the same as Todd Andrews, ex Fianna Fáil um, person, uh, he closed the railways following suit to Lord Beeching. Uh, so a lot of the towns in, uh, in the country were isolated and, were, and never got the service that they were promised subsequently. So um, at least the population is in Avon and, and the hinterland and, and the train service should be, it should be a matter of um, economic sense to open, to, 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 to have that train again. So. Uh, the Christian and Jobs Action Party is calling for that station to be put into use and to ease the traffic on the road and, and uh, so as people can get to work. Thank you very much, Sean Malone. Thank you very much. Oh.